Welcome back, guys. This is Unfinished. Today, we're talking about the high cost of living in Kenya, which takes us to our next question. Do you think the cost of living is going to hike or drop? Let me know what you think in the comment section. According to me, I see it and Kupanda, like the cost of living will continue rising for like one year, then at least it will start dropping. Yeah, because I think it will reach a time by which the government will come to realize the people are suffering and at least they can improve. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it, if it may drop anytime soon. Yeah. With the current situation, without things are faring up, I don't think if it will drop. Because in Kenya, the highest percentage consists of poor or uh, the moderate class. Just to cite an example, the, the funding model that President, His Excellency President Ruto proposed, it really discourages learning. Yeah, especially to the poor people. And now, with the poor people, with that kind of funding model, we see, us, we see it as a burden. It's like there's a high cost of living and another burden is added on, on top of it. So we don't think if it will... Uh, if the high cost of living will reduce. Considering the current situation, um, in the long, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe in the long term. We, we, that's something that we can't really say right now. But considering, yeah, I just like go back to government policy and I don't really think they are willing to do that at the moment. So maybe it's, it will just be the same or even become higher. Yeah. In a depend uh, the next president, never know if there will be a next president that are better than Ruto. Of course, it it ashuka chini kiasi. Obviously, it ashuka chini, but it apungua. But to keep a president worse than Ruto, ma Ruto nda maintain apo. It's obvious it akua ju. At the make any deliberate action, ya ku make it drop, so as it stays, trendelea tu kuona ikishoot. Unless now we we take a step and decide now this is uh, what you are doing against this. This is what we want to, to have in the next like five years. Yeah, but as of now, I, I do expect uh, cost of living kushuka kama, hakuna anything else tunafanya to, to make it go down. The high cost of living, um, well, I'm, I'm not a, a planner, but from, uh, from where I see it as a citizen that's watching this space, I'm thinking if we don't get our act right, so the bad practices that I think are bedeviling this country in terms of too much corruption, so we're already hemorrhaging, and the few that are connected and are in the positions of power are not prudentially managing the resources that are in their hands, and that then means that we are not appropriating well the the finances or rather the, the economic power, which in which case the amount of money or resources that you're collecting into the national basket from the taxation, if you don't put that to correct use, then it means uh, our history, our, our future is bleak. Uh, we are not going to industrialize as, as best as we, we want it to be. We are not going to create job and, and employment opportunities as, we, as, as best as we, we are supposed to be. We are not attending to, say, other factors of growth and development in terms of, say, education. Uh, I've been seeing some, some quite some clamor here and there. I mean, talking about the education sector, we were just staring in the face of um, uh, a national strike. So if you're not taking care of all these other baseline factors, then it means that we are not producing the capacity and, uh, you know, and, and abilities to shake the, the foundation or the bottom line, which, which again means that um, staring at the future, it's, it's, it may not be as rosy, it may not be as shiny as it should be. Uh, but the, the other bad news is, I think, if we don't put uh, our act together in terms of the political element or national power, and we don't get it right, uh, and by having the right people in place at all levels, be it the divisional levels where we have county governments, your local MC and your local MP, if we don't get our bad practices back on track, you know, in terms of just being a, a sane society that's well-behaved, 
then again our collective future may not be shiny, may not be smiling back at us. It may mean that we are becoming more and more hopeless uh, if, if we don't get our act right up. It's likely to hike. First of all, unona tu vele isha fika kwa education. Wamongeza, wamongeza nini? Education. Hey! Hey, ada siyezi. Siyezi sema. Iyo vele ni meangali, iyo funding. No. It's, it's, it's probably going to hike. No, no questions asked. Iye nenda ku hike vibaya tena sana. Vele wanasema wanenda kuongeza taxes and what have you. Na vele tunu tunona, as time progresses, the rejected finance bill in your Konasema Imetolewa, it was just pole pole, whatever was in the finance bill in a road to pole pole and what have you. So to me, I think in a hike other from before. It's a hike, Sababu inflation and Dagichini. So as long as green inflation, as it might a hike. Yeah, there's nothing else you can do. Considering uh, the resources, the main resources that make life a bit cheaper, or okay, not a bit cheaper, the main resources that are used, uh, like mafuta. Yeah, mafuta, mafuta inatumika sana. So mafuta kipanda, vitu mingi zitapanda because, uh, let's say for example, someone has a business in Kisumu and he needs to get his products from Mombasa, he'll have to hike the price for it to accommodate in Mongezwa due to transport costs. So, itafikia the final consumer. Juu, yake ongeza transport kipanda, ato ongeza price yake, final consumer, hivyo. Itendelea kurise. Itendelea kurise. Dropping, let's not say it will drop. Juu, we, ha we have to be somewhere. Personally, nikia, let me give an example. If I'm starting to work today, I worked as an attache, I, I, of course, have my rate card, right? Kuna rate card yangu itanza somewhere. The more I get experience, the more I get to know more about things, is the more my rate card grows. So the same way we're experiencing different things in this country, maybe we want to, we want to reach somewhere as a country. At least we expect the cost of living to go down and we have to be somewhere. We also have, we have a vision. If we do, that is, we need to do, to invest more so that you can be able to reach that vision, yes. To be honest, with how things are going, I do not think the cost of living is going to drop at any moment, but we are hopeful and we hope that in the future, things are going to get better. Which takes us to our last question. How can we ensure that Kenyans are living an affordable lifestyle? Let me know what you think in the comment section. There are people at heart, then they will consider there are people. Yeah, so that will at least improve the living in Kenya. Introducing new methods of working, new jobs to people, especially the youth. The, you know, we have a lot of graduates. Most of them are jobless. So if everyone uses their talents or, or what they've ta been taught in class, it will be possible to, to lower the rate of unemployment. The only thing that government can do to remedy that situation is to lower the cost of living. Yeah, because when the cost of living is high, you cannot expect such kind of, like, you cannot expect to have a affordable living. Yeah. So how do you think the government lower the cost of living? What methods can they use? One, they should lower taxes. Yeah. They should lower taxes. Another one, they should create more job opportunities for the youth. Yeah. And many more. First of all, for Kenyans to like, be able to afford the kind of life that they want to live, they need to be there need to be conditions that are not oppressing them. First of all, um, I think uh, the government should reduce taxes on so many things. Make sure that there is no corruption in, in the country because corruption right now is very rampant in our country. Na ikipungua, 
I think business will thrive in the country very much. Sasa tukipunguza corruption na tuongeze employment for the youth, not only for the youth, but our, our parents. Lakini sio wale wazee. Wale our parents in yonaza work. I think tunaweza nini? Alafu pia unaona ka instance ile yenye uh, we had we had fake fertilizers. Unajua for a, a nation to grow lazima kwanza tukule. Tusipokula hatuwezi fanya kazi. Hakuna vile utafanya kazi bila kukula. Hata wewe pia. Hawezi hawezi hata hapo vile uko I'm sure umekula ndio uko hapa unasimama unaniuliza maswa, maswali. So ukikula Lazi, uh, utakuwa na nguvu ufanye kazi yako so tukikuwa na chakula of which ile nye mavutuka fertilizer is essential for food growth tutakuwa na nini alafu tutakula na tutaweza kufanya kazi so. obviously it's up to us by voting the right people to okay uh, na feel like we need to develop our like manufacturing industries vitu zinatuletea like uh, you know your wealth other than tegemea like uh, employment ji nani ameenda abroad nani amerudi nani ameenda sio wapi we have a lot in this country we can grow tea our tea is like the best in the world our coffee is almost the best in the world same to all other things to now have in this country but uh, as it, as it to help since hakuna any like clear you know uh, mindset towards uh, economic growth so if we we are keen on developing this country's economy uh lazima tuanze from where it matters most na ni hapo kwa manufacturing industry agriculture production yeah at least take the employment see what kama say after graduation uh, the government can more complain all of us itatu employ tufanye nini yet hakuna kitu we are yeah, exactly uh, one the most people need to pull up their socks kidogo yeah, because we can't keep on complaining about the government all the time so, so, if the government is doing nothing it's upon you to do something for yourself because if you, you can't keep crying every day expecting for the government to listen to you yeah just find something to do takan yes. kidogo sawa but uh, Secondly, the government really needs to intervene because uh, things are getting out of hand. Now that youths are not employed, drugs is coming. Uh, it's a, uh, basically, criminal activities will rise soon. Yeah. Create more job opportunities, we look for jobs so that we can have that affordable living. And also, as an individual, have a vision, have a a uh, budget on your and how you're spending your money you see you cannot be having maybe you're living in a in an apartment whereby you're paying 10000 as rent and you're earning 20000 how do you expect to have an affordable living now your your expenses are more you get 10000 when you for rent how do you pay stima how do you maji you get you won't be able to have the affordable living. Live according to your standards and also uh, be wise on how you're using your money. And yeah, just have a vision on what you want. Maybe at the end of the month, kama budget yako imeweza ku... In the beginning of the month, you've created your own budget. And then you use it wisely according to the budget. If you talking out of budget, you'll be able to sustain yourself visibly. I think that's what we lack. As Kenyans, even me personally, as I'm talking, well, we are struggling with that. But I feel like if you if you continue with that, we'll be able to live well and living affordable. If that's for Kenyans to live an affordable life, then I think we are calling with the society to get it act, act together. Uh, and part of that would mean that we get our moral rearmament right. So we get off the bad train of bad habits and bad practices as a nation in order to gain 
then get ourselves uh, to, to, to enjoy a collect, our collective aspirations and the aspirations for this country and right from the uh, onset of independence is to cure ourselves out of poverty, cure ourselves out of ignorance. And then I think, of course, there, there are the disease, the, 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 the kind of stuff that we addressed ourselves to once when we were getting the independence. But those have not been addressed, even just those foundational ones. Uh, ignorance is still... Uh, a, a factor to, uh, to, to, to write home about, you know, until discuss, until cows come back home. My education sector has, doesn't seem to have gotten it right. It's still way, way expensive to enjoy both second and tertiary education. Of course, I know of the appropriation of some finances as opposed to, you know, they are here on the bursaries at the MP level and all these things. But if we were to actually collate all these funds on one basket, then you can pretty much be rolling out uh, free education, both from primary all the way to university. That's one of those things to address. Those foundational aspirations as a country. Disease, I think, again, we're not getting it right. I mean, the health sector has been bedeviled by loads and loads of corruption. You're thinking the corruption of the National Hospital Insurance Fund and all these other things that are supposed to guarantee you know, health are something that's universal and they're supposed to be enjoyed even at some level. Other countries have gotten it right. And if you're thinking about um, even other aspirations of this country, there's a lot of ills that we haven't addressed ourselves to. I think fairly much because of lack of political goodwill or otherwise, corruption or you and I that are readily, you know, there to, you know, get uh, corruptible and pay a shilling here and then not cheat ourselves out of things. If we were to look and have, uh, you know, look at, uh, you know, some of these ills affecting us and honestly have conversations as a, as a, as a populace within these uh, borders of this country, uh, and the hard decisions have got to be made, both at individual and collective level, then uh, our aspirations may not come uh, quicker. Uh, the aspirations may be suspended in, in some mythical dreams, so to speak. I think that we as Kenyans could be able to live an affordable lifestyle if we could be able to get our youths uh, a job or something to give them a sustainable income. Also, by minimizing the rate at which corruption takes place. And lastly, being able to choose the right leaders. Don't just choose a leader because they gave you a couple of hundreds. We have come to the end of this show. Thank you for watching. I will shout out to my fans, my family back at home, my shush who never misses the show. I will say hi to Ngina, Brenda and Lydia. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Mwah.